Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Our concluding moments with uh, Mr. Femi Falana, SAN, talking about solutions to these farmers and herdsmen clashes. You've said ranches, we've seen that done. Not even, let's not go beyond Africa. It's happening right here on our noses in Africa. But if, I mean, much of we may not know why it is difficult for them to come up with these ranches. Should we, I mean, you've suggested, if the Minister of Agri feels, look, I'm overwhelmed, this may be too much for me and security agencies don't seem to be intelligence not picking up on this. And you are suggesting that they honorably just step down. That is what is done in our civilized away. society. And that is what has been done in Nigeria before. Once you are overwhelmed and you cannot solve a problem, sorry, let somebody else try. And that's, that should happen in our country. But now, you, you ask the IG to move to Benue. To do what? To do what? Every local government has state security service officials. Every local government. You have divisional police officers in every local government in the country. So what were they doing? Have you armed your police? Do they have AK-47 rifles? And that's why our uh, police personnel, you know, get killed, right? You know, from time to time. Because we have abandoned the police. What has been done now? Oh, move the army there. See the business of the army? To deal with internal security in the country. And do you know part of the problem we have now? This government has refused to reconstitute the National Human Rights Commission. That is the body empowered by law to investigate all violations of human rights. Now, I, I, now National Assembly people, they are now going to bend it. To do what? What are you going to do with your report? You will still have to send it to the relevant mm. agencies of government. So we are too casual with the governance. The government of the day is not serious with profound respect with addressing any of the problems confronting the country. Okay, let me just also bring this part up before we wrap up. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember. That. The third force. Uh, we saw your name on that. What is the third force about? Frankly speaking, I've also seen my name. Uh, I think a number of Nigerians are totally dissatisfied, particularly young people, with the lack of governance in the country. Majority of Nigerians have had their dreams shattered, and they are now looking for solutions. Personally, I'm studying the Thought Force movement. I'm waiting for it manifesto and program before I can make up my mind to work with the organization. But for now, Nigerians must be encouraged to look for meaningful solutions to our problems. It is very clear now that the mainstream political parties aren't going to solve any of the problems confronting Nigeria. Third Which is the largest, the largest concentration of black people on earth. Is third force a political movement? I think it is. I think it is. Would they eventually be able to be voted for? It depends on their programs and readiness to address the problems confronting the country. But this time around, Nigerians are simply not going to vote for people who are going to make promises. You must look at their pedigree. You must examine their commitment to addressing the problems confronting the country. No longer are we going to allow people just to say, oh, just change the government in power. It must be a change for fundamental you know, solutions to the problems confronting the country. This is a wonderful country. The resources are enormous. But how can you have a nation where a government will openly admit, openly, Oh, that those who are killing our citizens are foreigners from Niger, from Mali, from Senegal. What are you doing about it? Oh. Well, we'll have to watch the space for that force until <laughs> they come forward. Thank you very much indeed for coming on this morning. It's my Mr. pleasure. Femi Thank Fadana, you. The Senior Advocate of Nigeria. That's the program today and for the week. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I'm Chamberlain Usa. Thank you for watching. I'll see you much later in the day on State of the Nation. I'm Gimba Umar. Have yourself a beautiful rest of the day. I'm Neota Ibe. I'm Ajuri Ngalale, wishing you a lovely day.